targeted changes that flowed from the RGS and that the 2012 TTC budget proposed back in September 2011 actually rolled back standards to pre-ridership growth strategy levels. Attempts to undo this were blocked by your predecessor commission. Deep bus loading standards increased by 10%, resulting in service cuts and increased crowding. Off-peak loading standards increased by 20% for routes with scheduled service every 10 minutes or less. From the budget, we know this yielded a net savings of about $14 million. As someone who worked hard to see RGS implemented so many years ago, it's gratifying that its principles are still valued. The heart of RGS was to confront a culture of, we can't afford it, that met any proposal to change services or fare structures. Too often, policy options were foreclosed in private before they ever reached the Commission or Council, and basic information necessary to choose between alternatives was not available. Council voted an extra $5 million for service this year, an amount roughly equal on an annualized basis to the $2.1 million you seek for this fall. That $5 million was diverted into Wheeltrans to plug a gap in its funding. Although this was a laudable move, it was not Council's intention, nor did it permanently address shortfalls in Wheeltrans budget. The Commission should thoroughly review Wheeltrans service and funding requirements because across the board cuts such as the original goals for the 2012 budget hit Wheeltrans much harder than the regular TTC system. Wheeltrans used